Hello, and welcome to my office. Uh, I'm going to be giving you a tour today of the facility, but I also just wanted to say I miss you guys. And I'm sitting in my office here, and I wish that my class was full of students ready to learn all about theater and how theater changes lives. Um, that chair right there, for those of you in the uh, dual enrollment classes, you know what that means. So typically on day one, two, or three, we take a tour of the space. And so I'm gonna take you on a virtual tour today uh, because some of you have never seen this space before. And I'm also gonna be using these videos throughout the semester to talk about the different design aspects in technical theater. So get ready, we're going on a tour. So this is our classroom right here. Um, and it misses you to believe you me. So there's my office. And if you take a look up top, those are two t-shirts, one from our very first year and our second year. And you can see how those logos have transpired. There's Miss Hess's office right there. Uh, you'll see me in the reflection. And the saddest part of all, we have no idea what shows we're doing this year. So those posters are empty. So typically, uh, in this particular space, um, these amazing lights would be on and it would be a really welcoming space for all of you. But unfortunately, you're not allowed in the school yet. So we must take a, a minute to talk about the International Thespian Society. The International Thespian Society is the Theater Honors Society for high school. It's a really critical component to our theater program. And you'll see here, there is our original troop charter along with our membership role. All of you, because you're in tech theater, will gain enough points to be in the Thespian Society. Here's our best Thespian plaque, not yet updated for, uh, to include Akshita Srivastava, who um, was the best Thespian last year, who had the most points. But again, because you're in tech theater, you will be a part of our membership. Uh, the only requirement is that you take a theater class every year and that you gain 12 points. When you exit the black box, you'll see a bunch of doors here, right? So we've got the door to backstage. We've even got these nifty televisions to show us what's happening on the stage at any given time. We've got the doors to the auditorium. And then we've got this awesome long fine arts hallway with all of our show posters up on the wall that you'll see there, all the way down to Frozen. by heading into the back part of the auditorium right through these doors. We're heading into what is called a VOM uh, and I'll talk about what a VOM is. So in Shakespeare's time uh, it was super smelly, super gross. Uh, everyone was chewing garlic instead of gum because their breath stunk. Everyone smelled bad. And so what had happened was there was a little area that entered the theater where everyone would vomit, where they would throw up. And this became known as the vomitorium. So right now we are in the vomitorium. As we head into the back of the auditorium, you're gonna see right here our awesome sound table. Um, we actually operate sound from the auditorium because it's how we can hear best. You'll see our soundboard right there along with our two sound racks right there. Um, and then these antennas, they're called fins. They actually help pick up the signal from the wireless microphone packs and then send that signal to the fin, which then communicates to the sound rack, which then communicates to the board which communicates to the speakers, all in milliseconds. You'll also see that we have what's called a proscenium style stage. So that wood that frames the theater, that frames the stage is called a proscenium. This comes from Greek theater, which we'll talk about later on in class, but basically it means the window to the soul or the window to the live theater. A theater uh, during Greek theater was thought to be um, sort of an art form that informed and told story from the soul and through the eyes and through the heart. And so the proscenium is literally framing all of those things for you to watch.
This is the back part of our auditorium. We've only ever really used this during sellout productions or when we have uh, big meetings in the school. Some of our sold out shows include Mary Poppins, Tarzan, um, uh, all the big Disney shows, Little Mermaid was huge. Um, and we actually have sold every seat in this auditorium. We're gonna head to the back now. To We're the now at the back of the auditorium. This is a spotlight. So we have spotlight operators who use this spotlight to uh, light parts of the stage or light a, a person in a specific moment. A spotlight operator can have anywhere from 200 to 300 cues at a given show. We need new spotlight operators. Our two graduated this past year. So if you're interested, let me know and you can be a spotlight operator. Okay, so we are now in our booth here at Rockridge Performing Arts. You'll see here the sound rack right there that sort of controls all of the sound and sends a signal to our speakers, uh, along with an awesome sound board right here. This is called the master and it sends signal um, and communicates with our second soundboard in the house to be able to give signal to the whole audience. You'll see here the ability for us to control the projector as well. Um, and then of course you can kind of see the stage from here, which is really awesome. And then uh, last but certainly not least, our brand new lighting board um, that the Booster Program purchased for us. This is called a Geo Compact, uh, Geo App 5. It is an awesome light board with a lot of capabilities. The ability to control our, um, our system, especially with all the brand new LED lights that we have ready for you to play with when you return. I just want to give you an opportunity to take a look at that light board. We'll, we're going to be talking about the light board quite a bit in our lighting design unit, um, but I wanted to be able to show you what that looks like. And of course, our second monitor right there to be able to control the light board. So our booth is where all the magic happens. The stage manager is in the booth uh, and he or she or they are watching the show and calling all the shots, making sure that every single cue, every light cue, sound cue, special effects cue happens at the right time so that the audience, the audience believes the magic of the show. So if you are interested in leadership and running a show and controlling a show, you can be a stage manager. That's a really cool role. And they live up here in the booth with our light board operator and they do all the magic in the show. So this is our booth. So we are now in the back of the auditorium. Look how big this space is. It seats 999, but the fire marshal has capacity up to 1200. That's a lot of people in here and we've sold out shows before, specifically Mary Poppins, Tarzan, Little Mermaid, all the awesome Disney shows. So I'm gonna take you into an area that um, often goes unnoticed during productions. And that is our front of house. Oh, look at that, so sad. We usually have our whole season right there. Um, we'll, we'll be back at it soon enough. But this area is our front of house and this is where the audience first comes through the doors and are entered into our world that we're trying to create. So we often have front of house designers that transforms this space into something super unique um, for the audience. This is also where the front of house manager makes sure that our audience's experience is awesome. So there's a role called the front of house manager and they're in charge of making sure that every aspect of the audience's experience as soon as they walk into the building until they walk through these doors is a good experience, including concessions, ticket sales, any artwork in the lobby, so on and so forth. So if you're interested in being a part of the show but don't want a massive commitment, a front of house manager might be a really good um, role for you.
So I'm on the stage now and I'm looking out at the audience. You're gonna see some of our students and interns and staff for Disney's Descendants, which is a, a program that we're running in the fall. You'll see them working on that right now and you'll see this six by six grid that students have to stand in in order to space themselves apart. But we're gonna take a trip onto the stage. I'm entering from stage left and now I'm looking out at the audience as if I am an actor. And now I'm standing at center stage right here. So oftentimes if you wanna be an actor, this is the place where you wanna end up right here at center stage. And take a look at backstage right now. You'll see Mr. Johnson working with some of the students. They're working on building that set for Disney's Descendants. We're gonna explore all aspects of this stage here in a moment. The first place we're gonna go is over here into the prop loft and tool and scenic design area. As we head back to backstage left, that's the actor's left. Uh, I'm going to take you into the tool area. Hopefully sooner rather than later we'll be able to use this area. All of our tools are right in here. And they go all the way back. You're going to learn how to use these tools, the names of these tools, what they do um, in this class with um, the support and help of Mr. Johnson. He oversees a lot of this area, um, but all of us understand how these tools work and what to do with them. Right next to this tool area is our scenic design area. You're going to see our metal flats. Flats are walls, right? We're going to talk about what a flat is, what a Hollywood flat is, what a theatrical flat is. And then over here you're going to see a whole bunch of scenic design stuff. From paint to different processing materials to wheels to make sets move. It's all right in here. We use this space a lot. Next, I'm gonna take you up into the prop loft area. It's just up these steps. If it's a mess, I apologize. I haven't been up here in quite a while. It's pretty clean. So here are all of our props. Um, we're gonna be going through this, kind of getting rid of some of them. But we've used a lot of these props in our shows. You'll see rows of props. You'll even see props that were meant uh, for big fish that we're no longer using. Props is a really cool um, part of theater. I actually have a student, uh, an alumni who majored in prop design and now she's a professional prop artist. She's worked in Hawaii, uh, in the Pacific Northwest in the center of the country, all over. Her goal is to be a Tony Award winning prop designer. Okay, this area is pretty messy because we haven't had an opportunity to clean it up. We were just in the middle of doing Big Fish when, you know, everything happened. But this is our costume loft. You'll see Miss Hess has set it up pretty nicely. Uh, aside from the mess because of Big Fish, we have all these racks here ready to go for Big Fish. That never happened. Uh, and so we have to make sure we take care of those things. Also in our um, costume shop are these wigs and makeup. Uh, we do store the piano in here, but all of that, all of that is for us to use when we get back. Uh, Miss Hess does run a really awesome costume hair makeup design class. I encourage you to take it if you enjoy costume hair and makeup. But this, this is another place where all the magic happens. Please, let's get back to school. So I'm heading down this hallway right now um, because I wanna show you the, um, the catwalk, right? And so we are gonna head into the catwalk. Let me just flip this camera for you. And here is the catwalk. So you'll have to ask for a key to get up into the catwalk, um, but it unlocks right there. And we're gonna take a walk up the catwalk right now. Okay, so I'm a little out of breath because I'm at the top of the catwalk, which hangs about 30 feet above the audience. So about three stories, okay? 
This catwalk is awesome. Lighting design is my favorite aspect of design. Take a look at this. It's almost all the way at the end. Is that Jack? <laughs> Jack is here figuring out our light system that really hasn't been touched since Frozen. Whew, I gotta get, catch my breath. But here you go. So this is our catwalk right here. Super excited to get back into this space. Again, it's my favorite area. We hang 30 feet above the, the audience. And this is why it's my favorite space. I'm gonna show you the best view of every theatrical performance. Right, right there. Take a look. When I get to the center of the catwalk, how incredible of a view that is. Right, our lighting designers work in this space a lot because we've got to be able to light the faces and the bodies of our actors. So this is where we focus our lights, make sure our lights are operational. Um, sometimes we have things come down from the catwalk over top of the audience, like snow or confetti. But this is a really unique space. So that's the tour of our catwalk. On this side are all of our dead hung instruments. Dead hung means they're just hanging, they're not plugged into anything. They're all right there. Those are our extra instruments that we pull for shows. And on this side are all of our lights that are lighting the show. Uh, we are gonna end our tour of the catwalk now. So uh, we're gonna head back down and I'm gonna show you the wood rack um, and the electrics above the stage. It's gonna be a little loud, so I might not be able to speak too much, uh, but I'm really excited to wrap up our tour on the stage. So this room here, another access to our catwalk. I'm gonna go ahead and show you that curved stairwell. I apologize for the noise. They're building on the stage right now, but you also see more instruments for, um, for our lights, more cables. The other really cool thing about this space is that our classes uh, have all signed a brick. Um, so you'll see here the class of 2018, class of 2019 and once the class of 2020 is able to come back into the space that's going to be their brick right there check out our wood rack right here this is what we're going to be using to build everything that we need to it's honestly super organized right now Right here is our quick touch rigging control. I'm gonna open it up for you, and this is how you lower the electrics. The electrics are the things that hold the lighting instruments. Over here, you'll see how we can turn our stage lights on and off. And uh, over here, we have an LCD panel that controls some of our house lights. Finally, the most important piece right here, our first aid kit for our stage right. Up here is our fly space. You can see our electrics with our instruments hung on them, ready to go for a production. We've got four of those electrics. In between, you'll see battens and border curtains, and we'll talk about these in class later on. So that wraps up our tour of the auditorium. I'm still on the stage. We're still working on Descendants. You hear people working in the background. Hopefully we can have you back in this space sooner rather than later ready to do another show with us. So I'm back here in my office. My mask is off because no one's around. But I'm here in my office and I cannot wait for students to be back in the classroom, back in the black box, black back in the theater, making magic, making magic right? Impacting lives one story at a time. You're going to be a part of making that happen for hundreds of people to be entertained and impacted. And when we come back, we're going to come back full force and we're going to need your help. So let's take this semester to finish learning the foundations. So when we come back, we can hit the ground running. All right. Thanks. <laughs>